Paper or plastic? Either way, you'll have to pay under a proposal to make Honolulu's plastic bag ban even more strict. The ban went into effect on Oahu three years ago. Since then, businesses have been handing out either paper bags or biodegradable bags. Some also offer thicker, reusable plastic bags for a price. A city councilman thinks that should apply to all types of bags. We wanted to find out why and who else supports the proposal. Bridget Namada is finding the facts. Bridget? Joe, the proposal died last year. Its original intent was to ban paper and plastic bags completely. But City Council Member Brandon Elefante says a small fee for each bag is the compromise, and so the bill is now back on the table. Ten cents per paper or plastic bag. For Brandon Elefante, the reason is simple. To educate and encourage people to use reusable bags. But is the idea popular? Somebody gonna make money because now you gotta buy one bag. Now I gotta buy a bag and carry it around with me all the time. And that's very inconvenient. Thanks. Right? Elefante and environmental group Surfrider Foundation see it differently. Stuart Coleman tells me the plastic bags businesses are currently using are still littering the streets and harming ocean creatures. And they you know, look like jellyfish to sea turtles and all kinds of endangered creatures. Um, they're found in the bellies of you know, whales all the time. As for paper bags, Coleman tells me those harm the environment another way. They use all kinds of chemicals in that production, and the wastewater from those plants is, is pretty polluted. So there are a lot of things that we do, people don't see on the back end, you know, and it, that's what we're trying to address, all these hidden costs to the environment, to the taxpayer. Coleman tells me grocery stores like Safeway and Times are on board with the 10 cent per bag fee. Elefante tells me the businesses would pocket the change. Right now, 3% of businesses offer compostable plastic bags. 13% give away paper bags, and 1% of businesses aren't compliant with the ban. About a third provide no bag at all, while 14% offer some combination of the three types of bags allowed. And just remind people to bring your reusable bag. That's the best solution. I want to go back to the fact of that it's about sustainability. It's about our resources and our environment. We live on an island. The proposal will, the public will have a chance to testify for or against the bag fee proposal. The hearing will be at Honolulu Hale tomorrow at 1 p.m. Bridget Namata, KHON 2 News. There's also a push to ban styrofoam containers from all food establishments in the state. The measure passed its second reading and now heads to committee. If approved, the ban would go into effect July 1st of 2020.